Hello everyone. Today we are going to focus on Computer Hacking Forensic Investigate. So it says every crime leaves a trail of evidence. And also there is another principle that says if anyone enters to a crime scene, leave something in the crime scene and take something from the crime scene. So when it comes to digital forensics, for computer hacking forensic investigators plays a vital role. And under Easy Council, they offer a course called Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator. So in this video, I'm going to focus on CHF5 or Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator. So using these techniques, you can protect your network and your scope. So not only network, it can be databases, it can be your servers, it can be systems or anything. So you can think of the ways that you can protect and also keeping your systems to be able to analyze or investigate if something uh, you know happens or any incident happens uh, uh, if you use these techniques and even after incident occur once your incident response team take control your investigators can support them to investigate and find out uh, responsible people or attackers in a way that uh, you, you can prosecute them in front of courts or in the courts using, uh, you know, acquiring digital evidence in a more ad ad admissible way. So let's see what are the uh, modules that we're going to discuss during this session. So this course is five days course. We will be covering 14 modules. So starting from computer forensics in today's world, we will be trying to understand what is digital forensics, what is the methods and but, you know, required terminologies during this course uh, on the module one. So module two talks about computer forensics investigation process. So as I said, forensic process involve pre-forensic investigatory, uh, you know, actions, investigatory phase and also post-forensic investigation. So pre-forensic investigation involves uh, preparing, uh, you know, the place or computer forensic lab and required hardware and software and also recruiting people or human resources to forensic investigation and different roles and uh, you know necessary approvals and all that and then during forensic investigation we will be talking about uh, starting from getting uh, a warrant search warrant and seizing computers and different types of standard operational procedure when it comes to uh, machines with uh, switch on state switch off states and also in the cloud situation and then mobile devices and laptops and tablets kind of you know portable devices seizing and all that and once seized what are the actions that you take and how can we uh, transport securely to co computer forensic lab and before analyze what are the things that you should do and how we can duplicate devices and what are the considerations involved so these are the stuff that we discuss under module 2 and then module 3 will be try to understand hard disks and file types so there are various type of hard disks for example you have uh, uh, hdd uh, disks or hard drives or spinning spinning disk and also solid state disk and also different file types and we will be talking about multiple files type file types starting with fat fat 12 fat 16 fat 32 and ntfs and hierarchical file system hfs and uh, you know optical uh, devices file systems and so on this will be important when it comes to uh, using data recovery techniques uh, and how to recover data to understand that and then module 4 would be data acquisition and duplication because we are not going to use original digital evidences to analyze because otherwise it will tamper evidence and it will not be admissible uh, in the courts so they will be then we will be creating multiple copies and we will uh, use these copies to investigation so we will talk about that under module 4 and module 5 would be defeating anti-forensic techniques there are a range of techniques that attackers might use to hide their actions and also make investigation impossible so we will talk about these uh, anti-forensic techniques and then module 6 would be operation six, uh, system uh, forensics we will be looking at windows linux and mac operating systems uh, how to pull out information both volatile and non-volatile data using multiple techniques and tools and acquire information uh, during the analysis 
and the module seventh would be a network forensics what are the information that we can collect through a network and how we can save them and also how we can use them uh, in front of courts as an evidence and the module eight would be investigating web attacks so once a web attack occur what are the files and uh, you know uh, evidence that we can collect uh, irrespective of the web server so it can be apache it can be iis it can be engine x so any other web service so what are the information that we can find within web server after a web attack and then module 9 would be database forensics there we'll be talking about once an incident occur related to database what are the evidence that we can collect and how and the module 10 we will be talking about cloud forensics pretty much a newer uh, topic uh, to uh, you know forensics but let will be will be focusing on uh, various cloud service providers and what are the methods that we can use during an investigation uh, from a cloud uh, service providers and suppliers and then module 11 would be malware forensics these these days you probably everybody's uh, aware there are large number of uh, ransomware attacks are happening especially sri lanka and various other countries and we will be talking about uh, mal uh, malware forensics after uh, you are attacked by malware what are the actions that you can take and how we can acquire evidences and how to take next actions and then module 12 would be investigating email crimes this is also comparatively high uh, you know highly demanded or highly talk about topic where whenever you receive a phishing mail or any type of email how to investigate them how to analyze headers how to find out them how to find out attacker how to uh, understand whether it's a real mail or it's a fake mail so these are the stuff that we're going to discuss under module 12 module 13 would be mobile forensics so everybody is using mobile devices now and usually people use more than one device for their activities so once a mobile device involved with an incident how to acquire data how to duplicate data and how to transfer mobile device securely uh, we will be talking about those areas and the module 14 and last but not least we'll be focusing on forensic report writing and presentation because this is really important uh, because the report will be the uh, you know outcome of entire investigatory process so it should be uh, a clear and concise report with all required information and uh, so we'll be looking at how to write a, a proper report and presentation so these are the 14 modules that we're going to discuss during this course and if you look at course details uh, computer hacking forensic investigator is five days course in other words 40 hours so it can be instructor led or a uh, live online training or class session so uh, we'll be covering 14 more 40 modules so if you look at the audience it can be anybody pretty much interested in uh, forensics it can be uh, a person who works for a bank or financial organization or microfinance organization or a person can work in a different organization or can be defense and military personnel because this uh, training or the information will be really really important even for attorneys legal consultants because what i uh, what we've observed is uh, some of the you know uh, you know legal authorities and also uh, law enforcement bodies uh, find some you know difficulty when it comes to uh, a cyber security investigation because it's not like normal uh, investigations or physical investigation it require a lot of information and uh, standard operational procedures so it would be useful anybody who's inter interested in uh, forensic investigation the reason to do this video is there was few uh, requests and uh, uh, you know questions related to forensic investigation and uh, especially after my certified ethical hacker video uh, they were asking what uh, how can we learn about forensics or digital forensics and also incident response team members and information security managers whoever uh, works for uh, with information security or information or, or cyber world or it teams so at least uh, you know making a, even a one person of an organization uh, qualified and certified for this uh, certified computer hacking forensic investigator would be useful for 
anyone and also network and system engineers security analysts architects auditors consultants so they will have proper knowledge or, uh, on how to conduct a forensic investigation in a proper and systematic way and as a you know uh, with this course they will uh, you know participants would receive a free exam voucher so they can uh, sit for the exam uh, using ECC exam portal a total exam would be multiple choice questions for four hours and uh, you know maximum number of questions that they can expect is 150 so it will be conducted in EC council exam portal so this is about uh, computer hacking forensic investigation investigator uh, current version is version 9 it has a lot more uh, newer tools and features and techniques that we'll be talking about under 40, 40 hours. So that's about Computer Hacking Forensic Investigator program. I hope this is informative and thanks for viewing. Hope to see you in next video.